Preston Physics Grade 11, Energy, Work, and Power Note 3, Gravitational Potential Energy. Gravitational potential energy is just what it sounds like. It's potential energy. When we're talking about it, we have to look at each kind of object separately. When something's on the ground, it has no potential gravitational energy. But as we lift it up, the more height, the more energy. We lift it up, we create work, and remember work is the change in energy. So we get work is equal to force times displacement. That means the change in energy is equal to that. Force of gravity is equal to mg, and that's going to be mgd, but here we have d being equal to h. So the gravitational potential energy is mgh, where energy is gravitational potential, Mass is measured in kilograms. G is our gravitational constant of 9.8. And H is the height measured in meters. In our first example, we're talking about energy when we're dropping a watermelon. Now, the watermelon is going to have gravitational potential energy because it's got some height associated with it. Let's say the mass is 1.5 kilograms and we're dropping it from 10 meters. So we use our MGH formula and sub in all of our values, 10 times 9.8 times 1.5. We end up getting 147 joules of energy. The second one, we give you the energy dropping a penny from the top of the CN tower. We're asking you to find out how high is the CN Tower. If it's got 10.3 joules of potential energy and the penny is 2.35 grams, making it 0 0.00235 kilograms, what's the height? We use our gravitational potential energy formula and rearrange for H, sub in our values, and solve. We find that the CN Tower is 400 and 47 meters high, which is the actual height of the CN Tower at the highest observation deck. The questions associated with this note are 9 to 11 in your yellow duotangs.